I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of PDF files coming through my life these days, and there are times when I want to annotate them or put an arrow on it or something. David Fry is going to show us a program called PDF Exchange that lets you do just that. Hi, this is David with Easter Seals Crossroads, and today I'll be showing you a PDF editor called PDF Exchange for Lite. It allows you to add comments to PDFs and add markup tools like sticky notes and arrows. So today we're going to be looking at the PDF Exchange Editor, that's X as in X-Ray, um, and that's available at tracker-software.com. And what the, uh, the PDF Exchange does is it allows you to add uh, notations and stamps to a PDF. So if we go over here to tools, we can see uh, comment and makeup and markup tools. So we're going to add a, um, a, a stamp to this. So we just stamp it right there and then you can save it um, as a confidential document. Uh, you can also go in and to tools and look at that again and you can add sticky notes. You can, you can, um, you can create squares and different things to, uh, to note certain areas of the PDF. Um, and the regular PDF reader, which is by Adobe, you can add words to the document, but you cannot overwrite. So it would be under um, fill and sign, and then you can add to certain areas here, much like I did previously. So, um, the exchange reader is designed to add stamps just like this to where you can go into tools and um, can add sticky notes, arrows pointing to, to certain things so that you can draw attention and mark up previous PDFs. So that uh, again is called the, um, the PDF exchange and it's available here. It is free. There are paid versions as, you know, as well but the free version allows you to mark up PDFs um, as you want to. So thank you very much. So that's a great way to annotate some of those PDFs in your life. That's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Andata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.